This is the Lee and Lee Streamer Plus, and they make it in the 24 pin, and then the either the 8 or the 16, or maybe it's an 8 and a 4 for the graphics card. Maybe it's two 8s. I'll have to look at it. Um, but this is the Lee and Lee kit. It's about 40 bucks for it. Anyway, comes with this box. This is the actual control box. This runs off to SATA. And then the actual device plugs into here. So let's see what we actually got. Uh, looks like it's a 246A. So it's a 16. So it's two 8 pins for your graphics card. Um, it has multiple colors, which is really cool. I have it on this one right here. Here, let's, uh, let's play with it real quick. It's pretty cool. Let's see, let's change it. There we go. Whoa. Let's see here, I think you can speed it up. Yeah, like that. Okay, so that speeds it up. Whoa, that's trippy. Oh, I kind of like that one. Whoa. Too much. That's cool. Cool. That's cool too. Man, there is just some. Whoa, that's bright. That's red, green, blue, orange, or like a yellow. It's like a purplish. Let's see, here. it's like a, a a purplish blue. That's obvious what that is. White, off, oh, yellow. Purple. Oh, cool. Multiple colors. Here, let's slow it down. Wait a minute. I think I can slow it down. Yeah, that way. Speed it up a little. Oh, man. That is so cool. Tell you what. You want to add some RGB to your rig. Oh, real bright. Man, this is pretty cool. So yeah, you guys can pick it up on Amazon. It's about 40 bucks, or if you're near a micro center, you can pick it up there. And like I said, they have the 24 pin. This is for the graphics card. They have the 24 pin. Uh, the 24 pin is 60 bucks. This one is 40 bucks. Ah, well, I guess it all depends on where you find it at too. Now, here's the here's the catch to it though. Once you install it and you put it somewhere, put it on a setting and leave it on there because you won't want to mess with this thing every single time that you're going to want to play with it. You know what I mean? And I thought that it was kind of cool because you could actually, you don't even have to use it as a graphics card. You could run it straight and use it as a detail light. You could put it underneath, like underneath the frame there like how I have that glow you can put it down there and that would add some lighting to it but I I was gonna do a proper video on it but I was like yeah I don't feel like doing all that I just got back from vacation I thought I would just kinda get down to the point and show you guys what it does all the different features um, different modes uh, I was playing with it earlier and I got it to like change colors while it was chasing a rainbow, uh, it was pretty. It was pretty cool, and I haven't been able to get it back on that yet. But you know, I'm just sitting here playing with it until I don't know what to do exactly with it just yet. I'll probably put it in my new build. 
that I have coming up here soon. So if you guys are new to my channel, you may want to subscribe so you don't miss it. Oh, that's cool. That has all the rainbows in it. Oh, that's so awesome. I love that. It just... It looks cool. See, from the other side, you really can't see too much going on. Now, from the side, you can't see it. So you it has to be facing you and able for it to work. Or for you to be able to see it, it has to be facing directly you. Here, I'm going to turn the light off real quick. We'll see how dark it is. Yeah, it looks a lot better in the dark. I tell you what, though. The camera just doesn't, doesn't do the justice for the colors. The colors are very crisp. In very clean looking colors uh, I know the camera's picking it up but it, it, it just when I look at it with my own eyes and then I look at it through the camera it just doesn't quite look the same the colors are very bright and very crisp on this end and I like it um, you know for 40 bucks you want to RGB up your computer it's definitely a good way to go um, I definitely recommend it Man, that's so cool, all the different patterns. Alright, so that changes the patterns. Yeah, and this changes the speed of it. This changes the color of it. Alright. Very cool. Very exciting. It would look good in my uh, rainbow RGB computer here that I got built. The Titan Rig. It would look good. You know, uh, let's see here. I guess you can't really see it. For my case, see, for me, you you wouldn't be able to see it. You would just, you would kind of see it. You would just see, like, that much of it. So that's really all you would see if I had it installed. So I guess that also has to deal with case, too. Um, look at your case. Make sure that the case that you're going to run um, kind of leaves you where the GPU cables are exposed or... Um, at least more than a quarter of it shown you know you want if you're gonna spend 40 bucks on something you would want at least half of it to show I would think right yeah you would at least want half of it that is too cool man I, w I need the couple of these that's what I need I need like three or four of these bad boys and I could do all kinds of stuff it comes with a 5 volt connector I'm assuming that's so you can sync it to your motherboard but as far as I'm concerned, you can just put it on a pattern that you like and a color that you like. Oh, look at that. That's rotating colors. That's cool. Just put it on something. And then, you, like I said, you would just leave it because the cord isn't very long. It's, it's really not. It has enough room for you to mount that on the back side and then for you to run that to your graphics card. That's, that's literally about as much as length. I would say that's about maybe a six inch cord no I'm sorry maybe an eight inch cord maybe a ten inch cord it's not it's not very long it's not as long as it should be um, it definitely I like it looks cool you could do whatever you want with this like I was saying you know you you don't necessarily have to use it for what it's meant for you could do other things with it kind of like how I have it just sitting there just add an extra looks like a police Thing going off hold on let me change it oh, that slows it down change pattern pattern change there we go Turn it, speed it up yeah see it's cool make sure to leave a like on this video guys if you think it's cool too and subscribe oh if you're a fan of uh, Dragon Ball Z man check this lamp out that I got isn't that awesome it's Goku and he's holding up like a power ball and he's gonna like slam it on your ass I picked that up that was like 50 bucks or so I like it you can turn that light off like this light right here you can you can switch it off and then that way that's all you see but yeah I just want to show you that real quick so I plan on using this Lee and Lee RGB kit um, I believe the actual correct name for it is Strimmer, stream, streamer, 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 streamer plus. Unlock your imagination by Lee and Lee. It's an eight-pin extension, 300 millimeters long, and I plan on using it 
on this case here real soon so hopefully we can look for that and I hate this chair look how many blankets I have to put in the chair just to make it comfortable this is like the worst gaming chair I've ever owned and I'll probably never buy another one well, anyway back to this so I hope you guys like it I like it I think it adds that extra appeal to any case I mean especially when you build a full custom water rig like mine um, something like this would be really cool to have so Make sure to subscribe and leave a like. If you're new, check out my channel. Y'all be cool.